Hi, I'm Mike Firth, and I'm the director of Off the Edge, and here's a little intro to our story. I first met with Jeff and Blair in Val d'Isere, where I spent a winter skiing, washing dishes, you know, the usual backpacker thing. Shooting footage of them skiing and seeing their amazing ability to ski almost anywhere soon made me realise these were the guys for my ski film, Down Under, back in New Zealand. So that's Jeff, a legendary ski patroller from Telluride, and this is Blair, a tough nut Canadian from Whistler Mountain. Having spent 18 months as a backpacker travelling the world, Morocco included, in search of snow, I wanted to make a movie about a couple of people backpacking into the wilderness of our southern Alps, away from ski lifts, lift lines and crowded slopes. This was our home, a climber's hut, held down by wire rope to deal with the 100 knot plus winds that roared up from the Tasman Sea not far away. Jeff and Blair stepped into a world they never dreamed existed, a wilderness vast, wild and raw. A small group of islands isolated in a vast ocean, with mountains that rise up thousands of feet from the coastline only a few miles away. Wild winds to soar on, and unexplored slopes to ski. I wanted to make a story depicting the longing in each of us to be part of the natural world around us. A story on a human scale, not the filming of an impossible dream to achieve. Although, almost, when Jeff introduced hang gliding and pushing us way out of our comfort zone. I wanted to make a movie confirming that such experiences existed and are within our grasp. This was the bathroom, natural hot springs from the Copeland Valley. They can be reached from Mount Cook National Park, over the Copeland Pass from Mount Sefton. We cope with endless storms and if not playing chess with the matrix of crevasses through the mountains, then with this improvised chess set in the climber's hut. The long drop was exactly that, a death-defying trip to the outhouse perched on the edge of a 2,000 foot cliff. But the untracked powder and endless slopes was what we had come for. And the flying in the mountains, soaring like eagles, was the trip of a lifetime. Riding across the mountain high Two city cowboys reaching for